the world, which means samsara and the world of people and the world, the usual world, this has its path, the way that it goes along. It has its rules. It has its modes of conduct. All these stem from the kilesas, the defilements within them. Uh, this has been sort of worked out in a trial and error basis because people want to avoid uh, suffering and they try to find some sort of path which produces the minimum of suffering in the world and because of that there is a path in the world and the kilesas, the defilements are so arranged that anybody who tries to get out of that path finds difficulty. The kilesas tend to pull them back into it again. They're pulled back into it. I mean, we can say that the path is in, in one instance anyway, what we call society. And anyone who tries to sort of go against that, they're pulled back into it. There's a, always something which comes along, things come along to try and pull them back in. Mainly they're from themselves. And the way of Dhamma is, is a quite different way. Because, because the way of the world is one way you can never get free from the suffering. One's bound in it. It's as though one's in jail. And one's not free. Uh, one may have some pleasant experiences there or not. But one's never free. And one knows that sooner or later one's going to just one's going to come to a great deal more suffering one way or another because if one doesn't in this life in next life we don't know where we'll be born and then the one after that may be sooner or later we're going to be in a pretty bad, bad and rough situation if we don't do something about it the way of the world is the way of maintaining the present situation and the suffering here whereas the way of Dhamma is the way of getting free from this the way of freedom because it's the way of freedom though and it's going, all, going rather against the way of the world difficulties come up and the kilesas object to it they don't like it they find all sorts of excuses to avoid going in that direction and in this we have to realize the rightness of the direction and fight against the kilesas yeah. And the more one does that, the more one gains the freedom too. And the freedom comes, I don't know how general it is, but I would say at first it comes as a, as a pervading sense of happiness, uh, contentment. One doesn't know quite why it's there, but it's there. And this is, this is an indication of, the, of more freedom. Less being bound down by the ways of some sorrow.